So sadly, one of the things we know is one of the biggest correlates of falling into poverty is having a baby. And why is that? Well, one of the reasons is that in the U.S. we don't have paid maternity leave. We have all this research that tells us that poverty is really damaging to children's development. And our developmental psychologist colleagues tell us that this period between when kids are born and three years old is incredibly important for their development. And so the fact that so many families with really young kids fall into poverty is a big problem and one that could be addressed. What we're increasingly coming to understand is the importance of early life environments in shaping how our bodies regulate inflammation. So the nutritional environment in particular in infancy. And we found that infants who are breastfed at all, and especially those who are breastfed for longer periods of time in infancy, are better able to regulate inflammation later in life. They have lower levels of chronic inflammation. So there are things that we can do. Paid family leave is a way to support moms, to support families, to give them the time and the space that they need to start breastfeeding and to maintain breastfeeding. So we don't have universal maternity leave in the U.S., but we can look to states that have passed family leave laws, and we can look to Canada for some evidence about what paid family leave does for families. Paid family leave reduces poverty, but it also has many indirect effects on family well-being. So we have good evidence that it reduces mother's stress, that it improves breastfeeding rates, and we know from colleagues' work here and around the country that breastfeeding has many benefits for children. There's a lot of good research on the health benefits of breastfeeding, but most of that research focuses on the short-term benefits of breastfeeding. What we don't understand are the long-run benefits, the potential long-run benefits of, of breastfeeding, and that's a really hard thing to study. So in our research, in order to address that limitation, we looked at siblings, born into the same family, to the same mother, lived in the same home, in the same neighborhood, grew up together, but one sibling was breastfed for a longer period of time than the other. And what we were able to show is that the sibling who was breastfed for longer had lower levels of chronic inflammation later in life. And it convinced us that, that there is indeed a connection, a direct causal connection between duration of breastfeeding and inflammation later in life. And so anything we can do to help families have a cushion, and one of those things is paid family leave. I see this as a public health program. Many people would see paid family leave as an economic program or a way to support families more broadly, but it really is an investment in the long-term health of babies and their families.